What's up, man? 25 Gamers. In today's video, we are bringing back our Blitz of the Day series, but I'm changing the title, and it's going to be called now uh, Money Play of the Day because um, blitzing is a little bit more complicated, and I don't feel like a lot of there's a lot of flexibility with blitzing uh, as there has been in the past. There is certainly ways to get pressure, but I think that the good meat and potatoes of the pressure this season uh, comes from the nickel formations and so I don't want to just I don't want to just put videos up to put videos out that aren't beneficial and so we're switching that and we're going to be calling it the play of the day there will be uh, a combination of blitzes runs passes coverage defenses uh, all of the, uh, everything that you can imagine and give you a play that helps you improve in Madden 25 but but that being said, today's video is a blitz, and it comes out of the nickel wide nine formation. Um, one of the best formations for blitzing in Madden 25 is the nickel wide nine. Um, but guys, most people would uh, unanimously agree that the best blitzing formation in Madden 25 is the nickel strong defense. So I encourage you guys to check that out. The nickel strong uh, videos have actually been posted on my site already, on my RX, not on my site, but on my YouTube channel page. And there will be a couple of links in the description uh, that you can check those out. Um, but anyway, guys, the nickel wide nine formation and a couple of adjustments I want to make to my uh, front four here uh, for the Bengals I like to put Michael Johnson on the left end uh, and I'm talking about the left end of the screen so it would be the right end on your depth chart and my defensive tackle position I like to put Carlos Dunlap over here and I like to stack them because I feel like the left side in a nickel formation is the strong side. So I'm going to put my two weaker guys on that side to give myself balance. And another thing is, for this, I, from what I've uh, labbed and stuff like that, for the blitz that I'm talking about today, you want to have a little bit of a faster defensive end on that side. And we're going to be sending this pressure off the left side. All right, my defensive tackle on the right side of the screen is going to be Geno Atkins. And then my defensive end is going to be James Harrison. My cornerback that I'm going to be sitting out here is either going to be Taylor Mays or Sean Williams. Uh, Sean Williams is a better uh, all-around player, whereas Taylor Mays is more geared towards the pass with all of his speed and agility. So I'm going to start start Sean Williams. Um, my linebackers, I like to put in Vontez Burfitt on the right side. Uh, so that would be the left outside, or I think it would actually be the middle linebacker in your depth chart. And then the left side linebacker is actually the right outside linebacker in your depth chart. I like to either put... Ray Maluga or Vincent Ray or even uh, Sean Porter, those three players can be interchanged depending on what your opponent's doing. But Vincent Ray, in my opinion, is the best overall. And then I like my cornerbacks here to be uh, strong. So Leon Hall and Dre Kirkpatrick for the Bengals. And then my safeties, I have George Ilka and um, Reggie Nelson. Okay, so that's the kind of the lineup. And, and really, I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit about the kind of the theory behind why I set up the formation like this. Because we are going to be diving into the nickel wide nine um, in a later on scheme to come uh, in our scheme of the week once we get into back kind of basics of schemes. And we're going to expand on that throughout the summer. And uh, But I can't wait to talk about that a little bit more. But for the nickel wide nine, the play that we're going to be talking about today is the Sugar 2 Disguise. In my opinion, it's a very good defense because of the disguise uh, factor that you get. Now what we want to do when we come out is we want to base the line and we want to pinch our linebackers. You see when we pinch our linebackers, this uh, Williams here will back up a little bit. That's exactly what we want to happen. We then want to crash our defensive line down and I like to quarterback contain both defensive tackles. And you can use her however you want. Uh, typically, I'll use her one of the middle linebackers. More typically, lately, it's been Vincent Ray because he's on the weak side, in my opinion. And uh, so that's what we'll do. But you see, we should get that uh, pressure off that left edge. And, of course, it had, I had like three or four sacks in my last game, and I ended up getting picked up here. Let's try that again. Let's see if that works this time. And there – oh. And it's a little, it's a little bit uh, – it's a little bit dicey of a pressure. I will say that because – I don't necessarily know. There it is. Oh, I don't know why it's not coming in. It was coming in really well earlier this week. It was actually coming in earlier this day, like a couple hours ago. I was playing a lab game with a friend of mine, and I had this pressure was coming in pretty good. But, uh, hmm. I guess it's not working. Okay, well, we'll re we will revisit that blitz a little bit later. Uh, we'll go ahead and show you another blitz that I like out of this formation uh, instead of that play because it's not working right now. But um, basically what I like to do, and I'll just show you this. Uh, this is the meat and potatoes anyway. So we're going to hop into the nickel. What was it? The nickel 245. And um, what I like to do with this depth chart 
is put Harrison here, Johnson on the left, of course. So it's basically the same lineup as my nickel wide nine. But the cool part about it is you can put like Malaluga in the game and stuff like that and have a little more flexibility with your coverage defenses if you want to. Um, I've actually considered doing that, but I never really have uh, to this point in the season. But uh, it's basically the same lineup. But anyway, the, the blitz that we're going to be talking about today is a strong corner two fire. And uh, really like corner blitzes this year. Not necessarily just for the pressure, but because you don't have to send hardly anybody to get pressure. So we're going to base a line. We're going to, once again, we're going to pinch our linebackers. We're going to crash. Um, all we're going to have to do to this play is re-blitz our right outside linebacker. And then, but of course, with the blitz, you want to have the flexibility to zone off certain guys. So we're just going to um, take uh, Johnson here and man him up on the slot, in this case, the tight end. We're going to take Dunlap here and put him into a deep blue zone, a hook zone, whatever you want to do. We're going to take Atkins and we're going to put him in a quarterback spy. And then we're going to take Burfitt here and we're going to put him into a buzz zone to the right side of the screen. And we should get pressure off that right edge. And of course we don't. I'm struggling today. Hmm. Let's try that again. Same adjustments I just said. And let's see. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up the play. Let's get here. Let's see if I can get this blitz to work. There's a setup. And there you see, there's the. Oh my gosh. It's coming in, in the game mode. Maybe I should start recording my videos like live in game mode. Um, try that one more time. And if that doesn't work, uh, then I will re record the video. Let's see if that works. There it is. Okay, thank God. Um, I'm not going crazy. Okay, so it does work. One extra adjustment I would say you would have to do. Pinch your linebackers and then re-blitz. Uh, the only reason you're doing that is just kind of scoot them in just a tad so that they push the pocket a little bit more. And uh, for whatever reason, it means the world when we're talking about blitzing. And in Madden 25, I mean, you should be able to kind of understand why. Uh, but as you, as you see here, the blitz does get in. And uh, that's the thing, though. Uh, corner blitzes, from what I've been using them for, is more as a kind of contain. So since Robert Griffith III is right-handed, I'm bringing the blitz from the right so that he rolls to the left. And I'm going to have a flat zone over there, of course, with, with Leon Hall. But more importantly, um, I'm going to have all of this containment. And this is going to force the quarterback to roll away from the pressure. So watch. We're going to draw back. And then I'm going to have to roll out. And then now I'm in trouble. And I'm going to try to bomb deep, and that safety over the top is going to come over and uh, lay a hit on the guy. And so that's kind of the concept behind this blitz. Uh, I apologize for not having the blitzes consistent. Uh, one problem uh, with Next Gen Men is that, is just that, that the blitzes are a little bit inconsistent. Um, but I will try to make sure that I, I work on that a little bit for next video. Um, other than that, if you have any problems, questions, or concerns uh, with this video, please let me know and get back. With, I'll try to get back with you on that as soon as possible. Uh, once again, guys, be sure to stay tuned later uh, for some more Madden content. And also, what's your favorite blitz in the game? Uh, do you like the nickel strong? Do you like the nickel Y9? Do you like the 4-3, the 3-4? Uh, what's your favorite blitz in Madden 25 next gen? Please let me know. Obviously, if it's something that you kind of save for yourself, you don't necessarily have to share the setup, but it would be nice just to kind of hear some feedback and hear what plays you guys like to use as well. And also, guys, real quick, if you could leave me one suggestion on one type of video you're looking for Madden 25 for the future, uh, something that most commentators aren't doing that you feel like needs to be addressed, and I would love to uh, take, a, take your suggestions and run with it. Thank you for your time today, guys, and we will see you later. Be sure to check out all the other Madden content we have on our YouTube channel. Thanks for your time.